see the government working for us and not vice versa because the government is us anyway and if it's not able to work for us and it's only um, a few people who are getting who are getting the benefits and some of us are just feeling like we are toiling and toiling and we're not seeing any value of whatever efforts that we're putting in then what's the essence what's the point <laughs> Um, today, I want to talk about a story that broke my heart a few weeks ago because of the realization that this particular thing is a scam. The thing is, the National Hospital Insurance Fund is a scam for salaried employees who are not civil servants or working in the police force or in any way working in the government. Here's why. The story started back in 2020 when um, I got my safe first employment here. Yeah? And at this time, I actually needed to have uh, the NSSF member card and I also needed to have the NHIF insurance card because apparently um, it, was, it is mandatory for any salaried employee in Kenya needs to have an NHIF number whereby the funds go like, you know, before they even come to you, the NHIF has already taken their share. Yeah, and you can see this from like premium rates also based off on your on your what's it called on your salary and the president in his inauguration stated that the NHIF uh, deductions will be based off um, the amount of salary that you receive. So the higher the salary, definitely the higher the cut that NHIF takes. Our health agenda is premised on fundamental reform in the way health is financed and provided. We shall reform the National Insurance Fund to make it a social health insurance provider, improve procurement of medical supplies, deploy an integrated state-of-the-art health information system, and most importantly, provide adequate human resources at all levels. Contributions to the National Hospital Insurance Fund will now be graduated and will, be, will depend on people's income anyway um, from the history books uh, NHIF was established back in 1966 and in 1998 there were reforms that um, the, they expanded the reforms so that it could uh, cater for the informal the informal sector workers yeah back in 1998 then in 2015 uh, they launched the national scheme whereby people could be able to like everyone was supposed to be covered with a with an outpatient cover as long as you went to an, an, an accredited an NHIF accredited hospital and there are many the list of NHIF accredited hospitals is quite the lump sum anyway um, I've never really gotten sick until like recently uh, which was um, in the beginning of this month this is September of 2022 Guys, let me tell you, if you've ever gone to the hospital and you just realized like some things are not going to work out and you haven't even met the doctor just yet and you don't know what whatever the, ha the hell is happening to your body and you're just there and you're wondering, am I gonna make it, you know? Anyway, the thing is, um, before I actually went to the hospital, I made sure that I had checked um, whether I am covered by NHIF to go to, like the hospital that I had chosen. According to the internet, they tell you um, to type, to just write the, na the name, ID, space, and then write your ID number and send that message to 21101. So it's a 21101. I sent it. I did that and I sent. And you see, it just says clearly, um, membership current contributions okay this member is covered outpatient Medi Hill hospital parklands last contribution 2022 august it's okay yeah so i go to the hospital and mind you by the way nhif has clearly stated the the different covers and what is inclusive in those covers 
again in a different sheet um nhif has stated that um there's a limit like at least in a year there's a limit to the amount of money that it can uh disburse anyway um so basically uh, nhif has different covers it has the inpatient cover it has the outpatient cover the maternity cover which is commonly known as the linda mama cover at, at the moment and there's also the last experience and you know there's the another shaban down there so like i wrote it down um the outpatient which was launched back in july 2015 remember it is eligible to all nhif members and their declared dependents um, at nhif accredited hospitals yeah and the cover includes consultation laboratory drug administration radiology nursing services dental services optical care physiotherapy services occupational therapy services and minor surgery services so for me i knew at least nhif should be able to cover for my consultation and laboratory because if i'm having stomach pains i definitely knew for sure that i will have to do some tests so that like um like you know we can figure out what's wrong with this baby girl so i knew at least th three things would be covered for me consultation laboratory and the drug administration guys shock on me <laughs> shock on me so i've gone to the hospital i'm still in pain that's why i'm in the hospital because i need to get treated and know what the hell is is wrong what what is happening so um i take my ticket i sit down and i wait to be to be serviced to be served <laughs> to be served oh my god <laughs> it's it's weird that this happens in hospitals i don't know why it happens like this but apparently that's how the structure is i don't know if it's everywhere in the world whereby you have to first of all like uh, bill the service before you actually get the service interesting um they ask so how are you planning to pay uh, this is i think now they start charging from consultation i guess so i was like NH my nhif I have NHIF. So it's like, okay, they either give me your NHIF card or give me your ID. Your ID. So um, the good thing with ID is that, like, um, right now in Kenya, probably everywhere in the world, like, if you just produce your ID, you'll be able to get a majority of the services. I don't know what Huduma Number was all about, but that's a story for for another day. Um, so she checks, and then. She looks at me and then she's like, I'm sorry, NHIF has not contracted us to cover for you. I was like, um, what do you mean? I'm covered. Um, then she's like, um, we're only contracted for civil servants and the police force. I was like, um, okay, so what does that mean? And then she's like, um, either, you're, either you're paying with cash or you're paying with another insurance <laughs> oh my god <laughs> in my head Nimekujo hospitali knowing very well that I'm covered you know I have an insurance that is going to take care of my of, of me because I mean the government has been looking out for me yeah <laughs> um i was like okay so what what really can i do because i am i have uh, checked my if i'm covered nhif says i am covered so what what am i going to do then she tells me change the facility so i breathe in i breathe out i take my id and i go back and sit at the chairs at the waiting area rather so now i'm like all right now what do i do so anyway i get into my nhif app and i change facility because now i need to be treated um parklands has a lot of hospitals with around and within i was like ah okay i changed my facility and now it reads a uh, third park hospital and you know let me show you when you're getting into NHIF, as you can see over here, you're able to just change the facility. And these facilities that you're changing, they're all uh, outpatient, as 
as you can see at the top there it just says outpatient facility so i know that i'm choosing an outpatient facility so now i go to third bank it's just like uh, a, little, another, um, a floor up a floor above Mary Hill. so i go and um <clears throat> they tell they tell me hi so i'm like hi um i'd like to see a doctor um a general doctor just uh, for consultation so that i can be able to know what's ailing me um then they're like what um okay then i'm like is there anything wrong and then they're like you know this is actually an inpatient hospital facility like they only do surgeries i'm like and how was i able to choose this on the app you know like how was i able how was i able to choose it if it's like uh for surgeries well perhaps for what, what's this called maybe for the minor surgeries i guess for outpatient but then they told me that they strictly just do inpatient and the only form of nhif that they take is like just they pay just for the bed which is four thousand a day and that's like full stop yeah i was like wow all right I am. Anyway, I somehow happened to be strong or I don't know. God was just shikiliang me, you know, like the baby girl that I am. I don't know how, where, but I was strong. But at that moment, I felt I felt unloved by the government. Like I have been toiling and working my ass off from all the way from 2020 never actually bothered about my nhif it's just you know it's just been deducting amount of money from amount of money and um when i got a raise <laughs> they raised the bar as well you know they were ha <sighs> so i decide i decide um let me go to a different hospital that is even closer to home so that like if there's anything serious at least i'll be closer to home so i get into a matatu transport fees of course at the at the peak as well uh and i get going so um i get uh, to a hospital again which was on the nhif app as an outpatient facility so at this one day i have changed facility twice i've changed from medihill which was previously like from the beginning it had always been medihill and then now changed to now the third park and now i had to change to the hospital that's nearest to my place i was like okay and by the way mind you um before i actually changed to okay when i actually changed to the third park i called the nhif there's a there's a toll number so i called it and um of course they ask you is it national scheme blah blah you select you select before you, you can actually speak to an agent so the agent um, when I'm talking to them, I'm like, hey, so I'm just from um, Medi Hill, and they tell me that NHIF has not contracted them for me as a, as a national scheme holder. And then they're like, at you know, your hospital is third park. I'm like, fine, it's okay, I will go to third park. But can you promise me and assure me that this will not happen? In short, I just never got the service that I needed, even from the agent who was talking to me, because he wasn't listening to what i have to say to be able to solve my issue it was just like him trying to speak over me and trying to tell me that it's not the hospital so you know like i'm like you have the record you can just check that i've just changed a few minutes ago like what's happening anyway um i went on to the hospital that's closest to my place and the same thing applied they just told me that oh um we're not going to be able to use your NHIF because we're not contracted to um, provide services to you. It's only strictly for civil servants and the police force. So now I've been wondering if I've been if my money has been deducted all this time since 2020, 2020 back in May. It's more than two years right now, yeah. So so now what? You know, like the insurance fund is supposed to give me quality health insurance quality health insurance in any accredited NHIF accredited hospital as long as I've registered in that hospital but that's that's not what happened and you know guys I am just I just feel like NHIF is a scam 
and we should definitely boycott NHIF, especially for us salaried employees who are not civil servants or in the in the police force. Because I understand for them, it actually really does work well for them. So you can imagine if if I'm a civil servant, like the only the only difference over here is just the the industry that you're working in. Uh, but technically, I'm so sure we definitely did that. We are all deducted the same amount because the premium rates, which are here, I will show you. Um, and literally, you know, for any person earning a salary at that much, this is the deduction that's supposed to be made. Like, that's bad. It just forces people to actually get a, a second insurance when you're still being deducted for NHIF when that shouldn't be the case. Like you should actually be see the value in whatever, in what in anything that you give out your money to. Like if I'm paying taxes, I want to know that actually there's there's no not one single person eating my money, but the money is actually working for me. It's building my roads. It's it's a uh, it's uh, creating health facilities. It's paying the loans from chi for China and God knows who, you know. But you know, just to cut the long story short, guys, there's a link down below for a petition. I don't know how effective it's going to be, but I know that if we stand tall and if we all focus and say we want to see the change, that like we need to see the government working for us and not vice versa, because the government is us anyway. And if it's not able to work for us and it's only um, a few people who are getting who are getting the benefits and some of us are just feeling like we are toiling and toiling and we're not seeing any value of whatever efforts that we're putting in then what's the essence what's the point eventually i did get services and it was sad that i had to pay cash because i had fully been relying on nhif because i mean it says it, it, it's going to provide me with, the, with quality health insurance. And I was expecting that, like, poor me. <laughs> I'm rich, I'm rich, but that was bad. So um, join me um, as we try to foster some change. As we try, as we actually put the government on toes for every action that it does take and make, like we are supposed to be able to approve every action. And right now, I am not approving NHIF. Let it be a voluntary uh, thing for people. So if it's if it's going to help civil servants, then let civil servants use it. Then the rest of us can actually rely on private insurances that will actually give us value, and we won't feel like we are just being uh, conned and uh, and our money is just being siphoned from us when it's not going to to help us or protect us from any um, from anything that it says it should do. You know, I don't know if I'm making sense. I am definitely making sense. Um, yeah. And that's literally brings us to the end of this like i'm just telling you if you have nhif you probably know that it's not going to help you whether unless you're a civil servant or a police force or in the police force it's sad it's, it's really sad but yeah if you've gotten to the end of this video thank you so much for watching and um kindly give it a thumbs up the best thing would be for you to share just for, uh, for just for this message to be transmitted to different people and for us to know that we can actually, if we want to see any kind of change, we are the ones who need to facilitate this change. And I am taking the first step by producing this video, first of all, and this petition. I, I, I'm, really hope, I'm really hoping that lawyers will come up, um, advocates or whoever, Whoever can be able to help us make this change, please come up and let's do this. Yeah. Yes, um, share, comment, and definitely subscribe. Thank you so much for everything. Um, I'm your host, Emma Kaviria. Until next time, bye. For me, if it's, I'm in flip. Oh, yeah, it's in flame.
Yeah. Better be, we should be before the lighting changes too much. So. Come and see me. Things are certain way. <laughs> <laughs> 